Today I had a chance to do some modifications on my do-it-yourself big bore air rifle. I've shown it a couple of times before. It's a uh, breech-loading single shot to caliber 565, 42 inch long rifled barrel uh, big bore air rifle. It uses a uh, large QEV made in a three-quarter inch pipe T as its primary valve. This is piloted in turn by a small eBay sourced QEV. I used to uh, be using the slide valve shown uh, as my triggering valve and I had it linked up to the trigger by a mechanical assembly but this didn't work very smoothly so I removed the blue and silver slide valve that's shown loose and I replaced it with a uh, solenoid valve. This allows me to uh, use a little electric switch that you can uh, see on the hand grip there as a trigger switch and inside the hand grip I have a 12 volt model aircraft rechargeable uh, LiPo battery as the power supply for operating the solenoid. This gives a much better and much smoother uh, trigger and I also added a little uh, removable bipod on the front that's now uh, held in place by a hose clamp for the time being. Here's a look at some of the ammo this thing fires. Uh, double A batteries, cast lead slugs, uh, glass marbles, or uh, pieces of wooden dowel rod. All sorts of things can uh, go in here. Here's a look at the new mechanism in action. There's a ball valve that's open to allow the air reservoir to fill. Close the ball valve and then uh, just pull the trigger switch to fire. Loading is same as before. I have a sliding uh, aluminum bolt cover and the opening is large enough that a AA battery can be easily uh, loaded here. Ah, let's shoot that battery at a board. Seems I hit the target, it fell down. This time I've loaded a lead slug and I've zoomed in on the target board to uh, distance 10 meters. I'm just shooting off shop air at 120 psi, although this does work on my high pressure air from fridge compressors too. Let's take a shot with the lead slug at the target board. Well, I see a round hole in the target board. Uh, let's try again. Same target, another uh, 500 grain slug, 120 psi. Now, while we're at it, let's quickly uh, load the third slug that I have uh, lying around here and. Uh, Go again. Okay. Shot number three with lead slugs. And I have a fourth slug here, so uh, why not? Load number four. Well, let's go have a look and see what happened to that uh, target board. The AA battery hit here and uh, cracked out the back, but didn't fully penetrate. 
the four slugs hit fairly near each other and uh, of course drilled right through the 5.8 melamine material. Here's a look at the damage on the rear side. Now let's see if we can find any of those slugs. Uh, I already found the battery and took it back to the bench, so we'll have a look at it in a moment. Here's a look at the recovered four lead slugs on the battery. Since I'm only shooting off sharp air, and um, uh, these alkaline batteries are largely made of stainless steel, it seems, this battery could be fired again. It didn't really dent or anything. Uh, this lead slug mushroomed a little bit, so it'll have to be recast. But the other three, they're okay and could be fired again.